How are you viewers? We continue with the revision of the November 2019 science paper 1 and we are now at question B8. Question B8 deals with transformers and it reads a cell phone charger has a transformer with 2000 turns in the primary coil which converts 240 volts AC to 6 volts AC and a rectifier that converts 6 volts AC to 6 volts DC. Alright, just a brief uh, look at the how a transformer works. A transformer can only work if it is fed with alternating current. The reason is simple. Uh, it works on the principle of mutual induction. It means that whatever goes into the primary coil is going to come out in the secondary coil. Now, for that to happen, it also looks at, uh, since it's mutual induction, it means that when you take in uh, a current, a current will create a magnetic field. Now, if that magnetic field is created, is changing, and there is another coil on the same core, it means that it receives the magnetic, the fluctuating magnetic field, and converts it to current, which is alternating current as what went in. Okay? So, it cannot work with direct current because direct current does not produce a changing magnetic field so and so a transformer will only work on alternating current because alternating current creates a changing magnetic field okay uh -huh. now they've also talked about uh primary what is a primary core a primary core is the coil that receives the alternating currents from the power source. And the secondary coil is the output coil, okay? That takes out the alternating current that has passed through the transformer, okay? And we've also looked at the issue of a rectifier. Now, if you look at, they're saying that a rectifier that converts 6 volts AC to 6 volts DC. The function of a rectifier is to convert alternating current to direct current. Okay? It converts alternating current to direct current. Okay? So, that is the function of a rectifier. Now, let's go to the first question. The first question is question B8A. And they're asking, what do the letters AC and DC stand for? This is more of a giveaway question. Because AC means alternating current. The A is for alternating. The C is for current. So here, here we are going to write alternating current. Alter alternating current alternating alternating current so AC is alternating current current that keeps on changing alternate dc is direct current and uh, that's it so here the two marks were relatively easy to actually find now Question B8B. Question B8B. 
is asking how many turns are in the secondary core of the transformer how many turns are in the secondary core of the transformer how do we find this we use the mighty transformer equation okay and how how does the transformer equation look like so the transformer equation is all about ratios the ratio of the voltage in the primary core to the voltage in the secondary core is equal to the ratio of the number of turns in the primary core to the number of turns in the secondary core simple so what we're going to say is uh, number of turns number of turns in the primary core over number of turns in the secondary core is equal to the voltage in the primary core over the voltage in the secondary core like that so now here what we've been given is we've been given the number of turns in the primary core which is 2000 okay they've stated it that it, the number of turns in the primary core is 2000 so 2000 turns in the primary right which converts 240 ac so the 2000 converts the 240 so the voltage in the primary core is 240 volts and the voltage in the secondary core is 60 volts or ac so we are now going to substitute this or we can actually make ns the subject of the formula now if we make ns the subject of the formula what we're going to have is we're going to have uh n s is equal to so n s is equal to n p times v s n p number of turns in the primary which is n so which is it n p times v s over v p okay so it's it n p times v s over v p so we are now going to use this one and we're going to say n s is equal to what is n p n primary is 2000 so it's 2000 2000 multiplied by the voltage in the secondary which is six volts okay then divided by the voltage in the primary which is 240 okay then what we can do to uh divide quickly what we're going to do is we're going to get this zero and cancel it with one of the zeros there then six into six is one 6 into 24, what is 6 into 24? 6 into 24 is 4. Okay, now 4, 4 into 4 is 1. And 4 into 200, 4 into 200 is 50, is 50. Okay, okay, so 4 into 200 is 50. So the number of turns in the secondary core is 50 turns the number of turns in the secondary core is 50 so we're just going to write i'm sorry we're going to write 50 turns so it's 50 50 turns 50 turns so it's 50 turns so these are the number of turns in the secondary Coil. See? Uh, six, six. Fifty turns in the secondary car. Fifty in the secondary car. Then we go to C. C is saying draw a labeled 
diagram of a step down transformer draw a labeled remember labeled it means we need to label whatever we're going to now a step down transformer has got more turns in the secondary core and less turns in the primary so in this like in our transform because we had 2000 turns in the primary core and 50 turns in the secondary meaning this is a step down transform mm -hmm. okay this is a step down transformer so what we're going to do is uh we're going to do this we're going to draw our diagram and it's going to be one two three four five as long as in the secondary they are more than then we draw two lines to signify the soft iron core then this side just a few even three here there are five here there are three then here we can even say input okay then two thousand turns two thousand turns then here out out put output which is 50 50 turns okay 50 turns so this is basically a labeled diagram of a step down transformer again we come to the end of the video please don't forget to subscribe see you again next time